All right. So we got a setup update today. I got myself the original sole plates for the factions. They are not the slim ones that come with the white factions. It's the big ones that come with the black factions. As you can see, they are huge. The front is only a little bit bigger, maybe a few millimeters bigger, but the real big difference is where the groove is located and how big the back is. I notice I really push down my heel when I do sole grinds, and the fact that the other sole plate had a small heel really just kind of like messed with my head. So this is just, just looking at it is confidence inspiring, and the groove is perfectly lined up with the H block. The other one has like a, a smaller groove that you end up grooving in yourself and then like a little wing at the end to stop you from sliding out. A lot of people like that as well, but I think this is like a more traditional setup for me. Just look how big it is. The negative sole plate might be a little bit smaller, but I don't care about the negative too much. I'm not gonna be doing that for a while anyway. And the other thing that I don't like is that this part kind of covers the carbon, but it also protects it. So the fact that it comes up higher on the sides protects the bottom of the boot, which would be taking the most damage from slamming into stuff as I learned. So that's really cool. So that's enough talking. It is raining on and off constantly. So I'm gonna try to get a session in. Let's uh, have some fun. Looks like the rain is coming down already. Let's just get what we can. It feels so sturdy. Ooh, I keep sliding out with my right foot. These frames are like really close to the ground when you have 60 millimeter on the outside. Oh my God, it's raining hard. Let's get one more. Oh, I'm scraping every time I push. Oh my God, it's raining hard. Are we gonna stop? But I can't stop. All right, it's raining too much. I gotta take it inside. All right, so next day, no longer raining. Let's finish the session and I'll give you my impressions afterwards. Only takes a couple attempts. Maybe we do need a little wax. So I'm on the freestyle setups right now to see if I could uh, stop slipping on my anti-rockers. These might require bigger wheels on the outside. I can't really get like as good of an angle for my push. I never had that issue with any other frames. There we go, just gotta get the confidence. Leaning too far forward again. I keep slipping out when I try to push off with these. They are really close to the ground though. The run up and throw me off. I definitely gotta skate this driveway flat next time. Alright, let's sit into this one. I didn't lock in correctly, but the freestyle frame saved me. Overthinking it. Alright, we need to just get on top of it. Oh my god. barely put my front foot down. Nice. Got a little bit lower on that one. That was a nice one. Oh, 
that felt so good, I gotta get another one. All right, so what I learned primarily in this session was skating in flat frames is totally the way to go for my super rough driveway. I had no issues getting speed and holding speed last time I skated flat here, but as soon as I switched to anti-rocker and now freestyle, I had so much less confidence on the run up because either I was slipping out or I couldn't really maneuver the way I wanted to. And with all the cracks and imperfect ground, I really need to put that kind of stuff to the back of my mind. And flat frames just allow me to do that. But now the reason why I made this video, the sew plates. I absolutely love these sew plates. The first thing that I realized when I started doing sew grinds was that I can really load up my heel and I don't slide out at all. I can still slide out forward, obviously, but as soon as you lock in, you can push really hard and you're not just gonna pop out, at least on a coping grind. I haven't tried grinding this on flat ledges yet. That'll be another video. But for my P-rail and my coping wedge, this thing almost was made for it. I can sit it right on the coping and it's balanced there perfectly. This little ridge right here is really the main difference. Just looking down and seeing that and knowing that if I lean over into my heel and my toe comes up, I'm not gonna pop out. Because I notice sometimes when I try to squat in my sole grind, I hinge backwards like I'm squatting at the gym. And with the other sole plates, that was causing me to slip out prematurely because the back is tapered to kind of hug the boot and all the girth is in the front. But with this, you can be a little bit more sloppy and just kind of lean all your weight into it and it just hooks on. It's so nice. I think the next tricks we're gonna try to learn are Royale grinds, P-Stars, and uh, Acid grinds. I should be able to translate into those. I need to spend more time practicing my Mizus as well, of course. But I'm very happy with my fit. I got my MyFit second skin liner. I have super feet hockey insoles and then the heel cup that comes with the factions underneath the liner. And it fits incredibly. Tomorrow, I get to create original frames in. So that's gonna be my anti rocker setup. We're probably gonna hit the park because we got a few days over 60 coming up. Yeah, thank you guys for all the support. I'll see you then.